All right, Phil K here with RollingBarge.com. I'm standing on our 48 bridge here. Uh, it's six feet wide. Um, so the question is, comes up, how do I get my bridge where I need it to be? And this is really a, a three-step process. Step one is that we are going to ship you a pallet or possibly two pallets, depending on the total weight of your bridge. And the, that's going to be about eight feet long and four feet wide. We're going to ship that bridge from our factory here just outside of Portland, Oregon. We're going to ship that bridge to you. Depending on where you are, you might want to pick it up in your own trailer. And then you're going to drive that pallet out as far as you can get it with your trailer to as close as you can get it to your bridge, to the bridge site. At that point, you can cut the straps loose and start taking the pieces off one by one, two by two, three by three, and you can drive it out. You can put it in a trailer. You can put it on whatever you have. If you're doing work in the, in the winter time, you could put it on sleds and slide it on the snow. Either way, you can bring the pieces out one at a time and get them in place. Now, we cleared an area and that is where we did the assembly of this bridge. All right? Now, once that bridge has been, once you've cleared an area and you assemble that bridge, now you can take the longest part, which is only eight and a half feet, and you're gonna bring that out to the 16, 20, whatever length, 48 foot bridge that you have here. Once the bridge is assembled, before you put the deck on, you're going to move the frame, and that frame is fairly stiff at that point. It's not ready for the full load because the, the, the decking is an integral part of the structure, but it's strong enough that it can be moved, and it can be moved by people. You'll see we moved this bridge in place with the help of 16 people. 16 guys were able to lift it up um, for our less than 1,600-pound bridge. This particular frame weighed about 1,550 pounds without the deck. So we were able to lift and push and pull this into place. Now, if we didn't have all of that help, we probably would have taken advantage of this tree right here, and we probably would have used that tree with some pulleys and some ropes to help maneuver that this bridge across our little canyon here and put it in place. So um, this is a, a, it's, it's a very doable thing. The, the big thing that we could not have done is there is no way that we could have moved a fully assembled 48-foot frame through the woods and, and into this location. And that's where our um, bridge design comes in handy. So thank you from rollingbarge.com.